In this video, we're going to look at how to use Microsoft Azure with Backup Assist. To do this, you will need to set up an Azure account and a storage account within Azure. To set up an Azure account, go to azure.microsoft.com. Free and paid account options are available and give you access to Azure's online portal. Once you have created an Azure account, you will need to create a storage account, which is like a destination within Azure, that your backups can use. To create a storage account, log in to Azure, and from the main menu, just select Create Resource, then Storage Account, and update the required fields. Be careful as some fields, especially replication settings, can have a significant impact on the cost of your storage. To learn more about this, see our Estimating Cloud Storage Guide. Once you have an Azure account and a storage account, you're ready to create a backup assist job and backup to Azure. To do this, open Backup Assist and from the Backup tab homepage, select Create a new backup job. Then select Cloud Backup. This will open the Cloud Wizard, which will guide you through the process. The selection screen is where you select the files and folders to be backed up. Once you have selected the data, select Next. The destination screen is where you select the Cloud Service Provider. Select Azure, and then Next. The schedule screen allows you to choose from two backup schemes. Basic, which provides a simple incremental backup from Monday to Friday, and Grandfather, Father, Son, which includes daily, weekly, monthly, and annual backups for longer backup retention. When deciding, remember that having more restore points available requires more cloud storage. Select the option that best suits your backup requirements and select Next. The Setup Destination screen is where you enter the details for your Azure storage. The first field is where you enter a name for your backup jobs container. A container is like a folder inside a storage account. Containers can use the same storage account, but each backup job must have its own container. Enter a name that is globally unique within Azure, and Backup Assist will create a container with that name. The Connection String field is where you enter the connection string for the Azure storage account that this job will use. Backup Assist uses this connection string to identify the storage account and access the container inside it. To get a copy of the storage account's connection string, log into the Azure portal and select Storage Accounts from the menu. The page will display all storage accounts that you have created. Click the storage account that you want this job to use. Now, under Settings, select Access Key to open the Access Keys page. There will be two keys, each with a key and connection string. You only need the connection string from one of these keys. Click the Copy icon, then go back to Back of Assist and paste the key into the connection string field. Next is the encryption password. Backup Assist will encrypt each backup before it is transferred to Azure. This is a Backup Assist feature and means your data is secure even if Azure's storage cloud is compromised. Enter a password and confirm it in the fields provided. Record this password in a safe location because it cannot be retrieved if it is lost. You will need to enter this password even if you restore or recover data from a backup created by this job. When you have filled in the fields, select the Check Destination button. Backup Assist will check that it can access the Xero storage account provided. Once the destination has been confirmed, click Next. Use the notification screen to enter recipients for the backup reports and click Next. 
Now you can enter a name for your backup job and click Next. The first time your backup runs will be a full backup of all data over the internet. Backups after that will be incremental and only update files that have changed since the last backup. This means your first backup will take a lot longer than the following backups. If your first backup is too large to transfer over the internet, you can seed your data. Seeding is an optional process that involves manually sending your data to the cloud provider on a removable drive so your provider can directly seed your first backup to the cloud container. This process is followed after the backup job has been created and it can be expensive and complicated. Backresist provides a tool that helps prepare the drive that you send to your cloud provider. This is the last step in creating a Backup Assist cloud backup job. All that's left is to select Finish and your job will run at the time set in the schedule. You can use the Run button to start the job manually if required and the Manage screen to edit this job later. To learn more about Backup Assist cloud backup, see our online guides and Microsoft's Azure portal guides.